When I was younger, I had a hard time thinking about it because I was, what, five and I couldn't figure out why I had a different lunch than everybody else. But now that I've gotten older, I've realized that it's not that bad. PKU is an inherited condition in which children cannot convert the plasma amino acid phenylalanine to tyrosine, another amino acid. And so they have a very high level of this amino acid phenylalanine, and they're actually deficient in the amino acid tyrosine. Fee levels that are high in the blood mean that there are fee levels that are high in the brain, and that makes your brain work less efficiently and, and less well. And if that happens over time, then it can cause damage to a person's brain that is difficult to overcome. I cannot eat meat and cheeses and dairy products mostly. Some breads I cannot have. Different things, high protein things. I just think of it as a special diet that makes me a little bit different from everybody else, and that's okay. She's always taking her lunch to school, but most of the other girls take their lunch to school as well. So that makes it easy. We pack her lunch and measure and weigh as we need to for her lunch. Lauren already takes on a, a bigger portion of the role. She's always in the kitchen with me at dinner time, making whatever it is that she's going to have that goes along with what we're going to have. If we're going to have some pasta dish, for instance. She will generally make her pasta while I make our pasta. I enjoy cooking. It's a lot of fun to mix things together. And I like food. They're awesome. They're the best. The Lawrence family has always been really outstanding, and they've gone the, uh, the long mile to make sure that she got just what she needed and not more. And so her fee levels in general have been quite good, but they've always tended to be a little bit higher than we might like them to be. When I have too much fee, my levels go up, my blood levels go up, and I usually can get very cranky and miserable to be around. You can ask my mom, I'm sure she knows about that. <laughs> For the last 30 years or more, we've been treating PKU patients with low phenylalanine diets, which are not very pleasant. So when Kuvan came available, we were really excited about that opportunity to use it in the management of these patients' phenylalanine levels. I was very excited when I heard about Kuvan. We have not had a problem getting Kuvan for our patients. Uh, most of our patients have easily had access to the drug and the Biomarin BPPS program has effectively intervened between the insurance company and the patient to make sure that drugs were available for the patient without a, a problem. As it turned out, the, um, the assistance program has, has really helped us out quite a bit. The paperwork was simple. We filed it. It was quick. It didn't take weeks and weeks. Lauren was told she had to do a science project and had to pick a topic. She called Dr. Anderson and I and said, what do you think about this idea? Can I use myself taking Kuvan? I took it for a month to see how it affected me and my body. I had to keep a diet record for every day and we took a blood test and recorded how much fee intake I had each day. We found that my phenylalanine levels went down by at least two-thirds. It was really nice to know that. I wasn't expecting that much of a drop in one week. Kuvan has worked quite well for Lauren. Kuvan has been a, a great opportunity for Lauren to get her fee levels down significantly lower than they were before she was on Kuvan. Certainly having fee levels in Lauren lower than they were before makes me feel much better. It's also a great emotional boost for these patients to have something new that they can try in the management of a disease that they've been living with all their lives and for which to date only dietary management uh, was the therapy. I got first in my school, third at regionals, and third at state. It was very successful. It was fun teaching all the people that judged me 
I had no idea what it was like to have PKU. She's an extremely bright young woman and I want to give her every opportunity to reach her intellectual potential. I am planning to be a pediatrician when I grow up because of everything that has happened. I would hope that if that's what she wants to do, that she'll achieve that, but I don't think that the PKU will make or break that decision for her. She's active in, in school, in, a, in regular athletics, and, and church activities. She's just, just like any other young girl that you would meet. And I'll tell you that if there's anything that I think that having PKU will do for Lauren, it would be more positive than negative because I think it's taught her a great deal of responsibility. It shows a lot of maturity on her part to be able to say, this is who I am, this is what I have, this is what I'm doing about it, and I'm learning from it. We've always told Lauren that everybody has a cross to bear, that people all, all over the world have challenges within their life, and this just happens to be Lauren's challenge. It's a very optimistic time for patients, and I think they're very enthusiastic to have something more to offer than just the dietary therapy. It is possible to have PKU and still live a normal life. And I guess I'm looking proof of that.